how to mint your NFTs on OpenSea step-by-step -step tutorial. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can mint your NFTs and how you can sell them on OpenSea's in a step-by-step -step tutorial. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to OpenSea.io. Now this is a website where you can sell your NFTs and mint them as well. You can discover, collect and sell your NFTs at a really, really amazing price. So to get started, you have to have an NFT ready. So let's just assume that you have an NFT ready and you have to sell it. So let's just go ahead and click on create. So let's just say that you have it ready, but for those of you that don't have it ready, you can just simply create one and you can just sell it over here. So to do that, just simply click on create and it will take you over to this page where it will tell you that you need to have an Ethereum wallet to use OpenSeas. Now, different platforms use different types of wallets. So for this website it uses Ethereum wallets. So you can get one by simply clicking on this get MetaMask. Now MetaMask is a Ethereum wallet, but you can choose other wallets by clicking over here if you want to use a different wallet. So click on over here and you will see the Ethereum wallet. So we have Coinbase, we have Fortmatic, we have Bitsky, Dapper, Ethereum, Taurus, and many, many more. So if you want to use MetaMask, you can just simply get MetaMask by clicking on this button, or you can use a Coinbase. Now, I already have a Coinbase wallet, and it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just choose this one, and you can just simply click on Coinbase. Now, if you don't have one, just go over to coinbase.com or just simply write in Coinbase. Just simply choose Coinbase and it will take you over to this website over here, coinbase.com. Now, over here, all you have to do is just simply click on get started over here at the bottom or over here at the top or and you all you have to do is enter in your email and once you've done that you've basically signed in so i'm gonna go ahead and sign in and i will tell you where you can get your wallet but let's just go with metamask because this website is recommending it so let's just choose metamask instead of coinbase so i'm gonna ch choose metamask so over here you can just simply install your metamask for your chrome or you can download it for your windows or other macs as well so i'm gonna click on download and I'm also gonna install one over here as well. So add to Chrome, yes, add extension, and wait for a couple of seconds. As you can see, the extension is downloading. And once it's downloaded, it'll automatically be installed onto your Chrome and you can just go ahead and simply use it. So as you can see, it's installed. So let me just check it over here as you can see. So as you can see, it's over here. Let me just pin it and click on it. And once I click on it, as you can see, it's it's a pretty decent website. If I move my mouse around, as you can see, the fox is, you know, looking at it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on get started. And over here, it's going to tell us that, no, I already have a secret recovery phrase or yes, let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and create a wallet. If you already have one, you, you can import your existing wallet by clicking on this button. But let's just assume that you don't have one and go ahead and create one. So as you can see, these are the agreements you can check out these pros and con lists as well if you want so i'm going to go ahead and click on agree and over here you have to enter in a your password and then check this box and click on create so i'm going to go ahead and do that so once you have done that as you can see this is it just to simply have to you can just simply uh watch this video as well if you want it's basically a tutorial and giving you a overview of how metamask works so let's just go ahead and click click on continue and we need to have a secret phrase that we can use to get back in if we can't log in or we have been blocked away so we can use this secret phrase to get back in so i'm gonna go ahead and set that up and right now so after that once you have set it up you just have to confirm your secret backup phrase so over here just type in your phrase in an order to make sure it is correct. So down below you have these different uh, categories. You have these different words. So you have to uh, like uh, arrange these words in the correct order of your secret passphrase. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will catch you guys in the next step. And once you have, you know, confirmed your phrase, all you have to do is just simply click on all done and it will be done. So you can go ahead and read this document as well or legal ledger and then just close that window. So this is your Ethereum wallet and you can choose this wallet over here. So this is your wallet address. Simply click on over here. As you can see, it's copied and then you can just go ahead and start mining. 
and you can also add in different tokens as well if you have one as well so i'm gonna go back in over here and i'm gonna go ahead and click on create over here so once you have your ethereum wallet you can just go ahead and sign up so you can sign up by adding in your email over here and just simply clicking on the sign up button so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm just gonna simply enter in my email and once you've entered it just simply click on the sign up button and it will take you over to this page now over here all you have to do is just simply subscribe and then that's basically it so i'm gonna go ahead and subscribe so this is basically their newsletter so you have to like subscribe over here to get monthly updates from open seas i don't see an option where you don't have to do that so let's just go ahead and subscribe so that we are part of their community so as you can see thanks for signing up we have all we and now we can check our emails to confirm our subscriptions so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i will catch you guys in the next step so over here as you can see our email has been verified now all we have to do is click on back to open seas and it will take us to their main page where we can see we have all these different arts so we can see that all these different nfts are going over for different wallets so as you can see we have this one going over for 0.1 ethereum and this one going for 0.03 ethereum and we have many many more so if i go over here at the top and click on sort by uh most viewed we can see give it a little bit of time we can see that this is the most viewed nft so it's going over for 222 ethereums and we have another one over here that is going over for 50 ethereums then we have 4200 ethereums now that is a a lot for this one particular see nfts are very confusing sometimes like a lot of like as you can see these are some of the like this one over here, like it's all pixels and this one is going over for 4,200 and it is created by CryptoPunk. And this one as well, this one is a verified creator as well. So as you can see, we can make a lot of money from selling NFT. So let's just go ahead and click on create. And so all we have to do is sign into our uh, Ethereum wallet and then we have to connect it over here. As you can see, it's connecting and it's connected, I think, yeah it's connected and all we have to do is simply click on sign in and once it's done that it will take us to this page now over here all we have to do is drag our nft so let's just assume that we already have one so let's just take this picture for example i know this is a this is ronaldo and we shouldn't be doing this but let's just take this picture for example like let's just assume that this is an nft like it's created by me and all we have to do is just simply add in the image add in the name and add in a external link of the website where we created this nft so that people can get some more details about this nft and then down below all you have to do is add in a description and then just simply click on the supply ethereum and then just simply click on create you have to add in all these different uh categories as well so i'm gonna go ahead and add in add the name ronaldo or Ronaldo, I think that's pretty funny. And then, and then, um, let me just find the link where I got this image from. I have to find it. Give me a couple of seconds, guys. So I didn't find the link, so I changed up this picture. So I choose this one over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and enter in Alfonso because I think that was the name of the artist that that uh, created that did this painting or illustration. And I'm just simply going to enter in the link where I got this so and then down below let me just copy the copy the description over here alfonso and over here just simply going to copy this section and the agenda and then just paste it over here so this is the description and now all we have to do is select the collection now i don't have any collections as of right now so I'm just going to leave it blank over here. And then you have down below, we have properties, basically textual traits that show up as a rectangles or numeral traits that show up as progress bar and stuff like that. Now you can do that, but I'm just going to leave it like that. So if it has explicit and sensitive content, you can just simply set it to that. Or if it is a unlockable a content that can only be revealed by the owner of the item, then you can do that as well. But I don't know if you want to do that. So if it is explicit, just simply check this box and then down below, just simply click on create and then wait a couple of seconds for the NFT to be created. So once it has been created, you can just simply go ahead and share it on your social media so that people will know where to buy it.
right? So we have we can share it on Twitter, we can share it on Facebook, we can have a URL and copy it. We can share on different platforms as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And then down below over here, we can add in different options to this uh, NFT. So over here, we can set a price. So let's just say that, so over here, we can see that we, ha we have the price history, but as of right now, we have no trading data yet because we haven't you know, had a buyer because it hasn't been uh, live as of right now. So now all you can do is just simply sell it or you can edit it. So I'm gonna click on edit and over here we can make some changes if you want to but if you don't want to you can just go ahead and sell it so i'm going to click on sell and over here we can just simply set the price so let's just assume that it is going for over for 0 0.1 or 0 0.3 actually or 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 ethereum is approximately 1700 dollars now that's a lot of money actually so you can just go ahead and post your listing and then down below you have different fees as well so this is the fee so OpenSea will take at least 2.5 percent of your fee and then this is the set price as well so we can include ending price as well so let's just assume that we want to have an ending price so let's just say that our ending price is 0 0.0.0 no, 0.4 let's just say that 0 0.4 this is our ending price and then expiration date let's just set it to one month because these things sometimes take a lot of time uh, because it's nft so let's just say that and then all we have to do is just simply click on post your listing and it will be done so if i click on post your listing it's give it a couple of seconds for because it is creating your listing initializing your wallet approve token and confirm 0 0.5 bts pre-price and 0 0.5 and 0 0.4 ethereum ending price so confirm 0 0.5 ethereum starting price and confirm 0 0.4 ethereum ending price so over here as you can see this uh, it's telling me that i don't have a insufficient balance so i have to pay that fee which is 0 0.2 percent so if you you have to pay that fee now i think that this is a one-time fee because they don't usually uh, ask for fees so as you can see so let me just go ahead and reject it because i don't have any ethereum as of right now so but you get the basic idea of what i'm telling you because because once you have done that you basically once you have paid click on post your listing paid your fee then your nft will be live and it will be start to mint so that is it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment sections down below and i will be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye